Hi, my name is Jeff Silberman. I'm a technical solutions architect with Cisco Server Access and Virtualization Group. This video is part of a series that's intended to show some of the unique advantages made possible by Cisco's offering called the Unified Computing System, or UCS. This segment will highlight how UCS greatly simplifies both the configuration of network policy and the monitoring of network statistics in virtualized environments using Cisco's Virtual Machine Fabric Extender technology, or VMFX. Typically, network configuration is handled differently depending on whether you're working in the realm of physical servers or the realm of virtual machines. With physical servers, network configuration is done at the network switch level, but since most virtualized environments have host-based virtual switches, the network configuration responsibility typically falls on the virtual machine administrator. Furthermore, in virtualized environments, network visibility is limited to the physical host's network interface, which serves as a proxy for all virtual machine networking. So as virtual machines may migrate between physical hosts, you would typically lose all granular context and state associated with specific virtual machine networking, including per VM network statistics. What we've done at Cisco with VMFX and UCS is to extend the network switch domain across multiple physical hosts, thereby addressing both these problems. Let's take a look. We'll start in the physical realm by going into the UCS Manager, which is our single point of management for all server resources in this domain. And let's take a look at the SAP network profile that was configured in an earlier segment. When we configured this SAP network profile, we defined it in terms of security, which VLAN to expose, in terms of identification, the MAC pool from which to draw addresses, and in terms of quality of service. These are the major elements for defining a network policy. Now, look at this target box. What does this say? This says that we can now apply this network configuration to either a physical server, which is an adapter, or to a virtual machine. This says that we now offer a consistent method for configuring an application's network policy and network profile that is irrespective of whether we are managing physical servers or virtual machines. To apply this network policy in the physical realm, you'd simply associate the corresponding service profile to a physical blade or server pool. But let's take a look at how this translates in the virtual realm. By checking the VM box, you see that this network profile now becomes a candidate for sharing in the virtual realm. Here on the VM tab, you can see the SAP port profile client as defined by the SAP VNIC template or network profile. Now let's go into Virtual Center Server and see how the virtual realm looks. Notice here that we've got two ESX hosts that have been configured with VMFX. The Cisco Virtual Interface card that's installed on both of these hosts supports VMFX in hardware, allowing all network traffic to be switched centrally at the Fabric Interconnect. In the same way that the Nexus 2000 family of Fabric Extenders work for extending traditional Ethernet ports for physical servers, VMFX uses the same technology to extend Ethernet ports directly to the VM VNICs. It's like connecting a physical RJ45 directly into the VM and having that level of direct network visibility. We also have a distributed virtual switch, or DVS, that was created through the UCS manager and now spans both of these ESX hosts. So now we take the SAP port profile and we'll export it or publish it into VCS. And now we can see that Virtual Center has visibility to the SAP network port profile. Now we can create SAP as a virtual machine instead of a physical server. But here we can provide the SAP VM with the exact same network profile 
that would be used by the physical SAP servers and which was defined centrally in UCS by someone in the network management role. Okay, note that for the two ESX hosts, we can only see the ports used for Service Console, since both of those have been moved onto the DVS earlier, but that is all that's visible right now. But once the VM starts up and begins passing traffic, then we have visibility to the network state and network statistics for that VM's network traffic. We have extended our network domain in to the virtualization layer. Note that we have the same virtual port 2012 which provides the context across both UCS and Virtual Center. Port 2012. Now, watch what happens when we move the SAP VM to a different host. Boom. From a network perspective, we still maintain a consistent view into the network state and context and statistics for the SAP VM. We move it back again to the original host. and all network context and state is maintained. To recap, virtualization presents some distinct challenges for network administrators. Network configuration is typically managed differently for virtual environments, and granular network visibility is typically lost with respect to VM network context, state, and statistics. Cisco's VMFX and Unified Computing System address both of these challenging issues to make data center operations simpler. This ends this UCS Advantage video where we show how unique capabilities in Cisco UCS can lead to simplified deployment models which much, with much faster service turnaround to meet the increasing demands of business. Please go to cisco.com slash go slash UCS for printed collateral, including a brochure that highlights the information shown in this video. Thank you for watching.